hey guys i'm back again with another diy and if you're new to my channel please subscribe like comment and share so today's diy i'm going to be turning an old adult joggers into a baby jumper so here i have the adult joggers i'm gonna fold it in half and you're going to need a baby jumper and you're going to fold it in half make sure that all the seams are lined up properly and you want to make sure that the crotch of the baby jumper and the joggers are in line and now you're going to cut it you're going to cut the joggers and you want to leave one inch seam allowance You want to cut out the pockets on both sides. the jumper on top of piece of the pants foot I cut open the pants foot I didn't get to show that part on camera but it's pretty simple and you're going to mark it you're going to leave a seam one in seam allowance and you're going to cut out the outline that you mark You know that the joggers usually come with an elastic at the bottom part of the foot part so you're going to save that for later to make the headband yeah, this is my daughter my little helper <laughs> So these are all of the pieces you're going to need to cut straps for the jumper. So you're going to sew both sides and you're going to hem the foot part. So this is it when I'm finished sewing it up. For the top part of the jumper you want to fold the end and sew it. You're going to fold all three sides. So I'm going to go to my sewing machine, I'm going to sew it and come back. This is the strap. I'm going to also go to my sewing machine and sew the straps as well. So it's pretty simple, just fold the straps and sew. So this is the top part when I'm finished. So I'm going to pin it onto the pants and I'm then I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it. And come back and show you guys the result. And I went ahead and X my strap so I X'd it and stitch it. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to pin down my straps and I'm gonna go to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it and I'm also going to add on the buttons. So this is it when I add on the buttons and the strap. 
so guys the jumper is completed i don't want to remove all the excessive threads So remember I said to keep the elastic part of the joggers, the foot part for the headband. So now I cut three strips from the remaining that leave over and I'm going to base stitch it to make the flowers. I'm going to add all three strips, fold it in half and add the three strips on the same thread. Just follow what I'm doing, it's pretty simple. adding the strips you want to close both ends together So after you finish putting the ends together you want to fluff and stitch fluff and stitch to your likings when you finish fluffing you want to add it to the headband stitch it to the headband thread and I give it a little more fluff to my like it so this is the end results of the headband and the jumper I hope you enjoy thanks for watching